Hello and welcome, my name is Amir and in this video we are going to write the hangman game. In the hangman game we have a word that is masked here and we are trying to guess the letters that are inside the word and guess the word. We have like 10 different tries. If we couldn't complete the word in 10 tries then we lose the game, otherwise we win the game. Okay, so let's go and start. So here in my app I would remove these parts that I don't need. I need to react them. I don't need this part. This is done. Uh, I don't need the index.css. And not this one. In the app.js I don't need this. And let's say the word test go back go here and we have the test so okay everything is working fine i need to clear my app as well like so okay now we have an empty app to start with first i'm going to create a component called hangman.js this is the main component And here we just say that we need to render the hangman. And the app should work the same, right? Okay, then we need to have a bunch of things. First, we need to have the alphabets. Like so. Then we need to have a list of words that we can choose from. I will use the, a list of animals, you can use whatever you like. So let me paste it here, cool. Next step is that I need to have the word. I will define it inside a state so that later I can change it when needed like when we want to restart the game in the beginning it's empty and let's for now just return the word it will be empty because the word is empty and let us just grab some of the animals and put inside the word for now okay I will define a function called reset this will run when the game starts and when we want to play again when the game ends and we want to play again so this function for now just randomizes the word for us and we need to call this in the beginning in our use effect Actually, we can do it like this. And let's write the randomize word function. We'll basically set the word according to animals and a random of these list. awesome so let's see what we have for our word yes if I refresh I will always get a new word cool now I need to mask this word because the user shouldn't see the word so here then I would uh, join so if I go back here and I refresh uh, let me do the mask word here I have a bunch of underlines but if I go to my uh, components here and in the hangman I have the letter here 
so this is still working fine and the user will see the underlines here okay great now I need to instead of just returning the mask board return a bunch of things so first I need to have a div here I would have a p for the mask board like so and then I need to render, render the alphabets as well so I would say that uh, and I will map them to a button this is enough for now and let's just render the letter as well let's go back and I can see the letters A to Z are forming here right so let's go and make some CSS so this stands out a little bit more so in the app.css here this is for body and HTML and these are for mask and everything else so let's go back and yes so it's working fantastic so the next step is that we need to have a unclick for this button so I would say it's on guess and I will send the letter which the user has guessed so here let's define that okay the thing that we want to do when a guess happens we need to check that whether this letter is inside the selected word if it's not then it's a failed or it's an error or it's a wrong letter otherwise it's otherwise it's a correct letter so we need to have two different states for the corrects and for the fails and here on guess we would check that whether our word includes that letter or not if it includes that letter then we add it to the corrects otherwise we add it to the fails like so so let me put it inside curly brackets and let's go and check okay have my state here that word is jackal I would say H and I will get an error yeah because this needs to be a comma not a dot so let's go and refresh I have this letter I would select J it will be an error if I select a a this is a correct if I select M it's wrong as you can see it goes on the next thing is that as soon as I click a letter I shouldn't be able to click it again so now you can see that I have J M N and so forth and so on but I can still select J and it will be added to my state the same thing is for the correct so if I click A it will be added to my state so let's go and fix that so here in my button I would say it's disabled as soon as it's either in the correct or it's in the fails go back here now J is disabled I cannot click it anymore now after the corrects and the fails have changed we need to check that the player has won or they have lost if the corrects have changed so if we have one more correct it might be the case that the user has won because they have selected a correct letter and if they have failed it might be the case that they are lost so I would have two different use effects one dependent on the corrects 
and one dependent on the fails. I would here say that if the correct has some length and all the letters of the word are guessed. So I would split the word and check that every letter in the word is already guessed. So if this is the case then I have then we have a winner. I would have something similar for lose. So if the user has tried like for example 10 times then we can say they are lost. So let's go here to our console and try to lose. And we lost because we have guessed like 10 wrong answers. Let's go and try to get to win. Swallow so S W A. Let's have some random wrong and then L and then uh, probably O. But before that, let me go to my console to make sure that I haven't won yet. And now I am a winner. Okay, so the game is working perfectly fine. Uh, the next step is that we need to show the letters here. So instead of just saying that the mask word should always be a underscore, we can say that if it's in the list of the correct, then show that letter, otherwise show the underscore. Right, so let's go back, refresh and I get a K, a N and so on. Uh, let me go to my app here in for the mask. Let's have a letter spacing for like 1 em so they are that's too much like 10 pics so they are a little bit apart we know how many letters are there uh, i am so yeah i am getting the letters here all right cool so this is getting formed next step is that uh, show the hangman basically the thing that is forming here for this i will have like different SVGs and for each step I will show one of those steps. So for example if I say K it's wrong this line will be drawn. X wrong another one. Wrong another one. Okay so here for the hangman I would have a another component called progress and this progress will only take the number of the fades. Uh, let's define it here. So this is a very simple component that will get the fails. Hangman. So we would have it's a class name of let's say hangman and for now let's say it shows the fails to see if it's working or not uh, let's return it i mean export it and that here so i have six seven one two three four and five rungs okay fine so in the progress to show those images i have list of svg parts like so these are the parts this for example this one is uh, this line the next one is this line and so forth and so on and based on the number of fields i will show a bunch of these 
so here I would have a SVG like so okay so here instead of just saying fails we would say but I need to have some CSS for this so let's go to the app.css let's say this one and if I go back refresh and everything is working okay so the only thing that is remaining for now is just show the user whether they have won or lost so we need to have a status something like this and I would say that the status of the game in the beginning is nothing which means that the game is ongoing whether the user wins or lose we would set the status and let's say here right then we need to send it to another component that will pick it up and render something so I would have a let's say pop up dot js here that will pops up we need to include it here and give it a bunch of stuff so give me the pop up it needs to know about the status then it might want to show the word if the user wins or maybe lose we show the word that uh, was hidden and then we can have the reset function as well being sent here that when the user clicks on a button in the pop-up they can reset and start again here we have the status we have the word and we have the reset function first if we had don't have the status or the status is just an empty string then we return the game, the game is going on otherwise we would like to return uh, basically a div with the class name of say pop up here we can say that you and then the status so either you win or you lose and then we can say that the word was the word here and then render the button in the reset function which is here we only randomize the words but we need to reset the corrects the fails and the status so the word is nightingale we don't care we want to lose we lost so this is not clickable because uh, this one is positioned absolute so let me just have this pop up for now positioned absolute so I can click on it now that I can click everything resets and I can play all right the next thing is that the last thing is that I need to style this pop-up so that it pops on top of the hangman and uh, I would have a bunch of stuff for the pop-up and you can see that I can now replay so let's go and have some fun Flamingo. Yay, I won. So, yeah, thank you for watching. This was a very basic game of uh, Hangman. The link to the GitHub is in the description. And uh, thank you for watching, and see you in the next video.